six-time All-Star, Olympic gold medalist, and NBA champion, is not with us here tonight. He embodies, as we know, what this city is all about, right? The hard work, going after it every single day. I just think back most recently to Sunday when the Raptors were up 30 against Indiana and Kyle Lowry takes a charge. One, two, three, three. He's not with us tonight because his number is being retired at Villanova University in Philadelphia, which is a tremendous honor, as you can imagine. His number one, we are seven here, his number one, number one. freshman year and I was such an immature kid and I didn't know what to expect I didn't know what what I wanted or what I could do and what my abilities were off the court you know I didn't know what I was I didn't know who I was um, and me and coach never talked about um, basketball we always talked about these things off the court that's all we ever talked about and that's why me and Jay to this day have the relationship that we have because it didn't it wasn't nothing about basketball he didn't worry about me on the court he worried about me as, as a man and becoming a better man I remember Kyle coming there and you know they had Randy Foy who was you know like an all-american they had a guy Alan Ray who was very very good and Kyle actually he was the guy that came in there and took that team to another level right people sacrificed the game Jay Wright did a great job meshing that talent together but that team it took a while for those guys before Kyle got there to get on that that stage so Kyle was a big part of that what is that it's a microphone. How do you do that? Just thought you talked about it. <laughs> Perfect. That's a good thing. Yeah! Yeah! It was great because like we were all undersized, you know, and uh, we were playing small. We were going up against these big teams and like we're coming out and they're looking at us like, oh, we about to kill these teams, you know what I'm saying? But then you got somebody like Kyle who's a hound on defense and you know, he's, he's on you all game, 94 feet, you know, things change, you know, and we all was like that. We just all had that competitive spirit. So it was fun just to like go out and beat teams because they didn't expect us to win at all. So, and you look even more handsome. So <laughs> Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Just the coaches and the group of guys you're there with. I mean, they make you feel like home, and uh, it's another family you have. And they just don't say like they mean it. That was there for you. So, um, I mean, just throughout years, you always want to go back and be there, and just show love, and just see the people that were there. You know, when you were there. Man, this school is, it just means everything to me, you know. Uh, I always wanted to come here. I didn't want to go anywhere else. I didn't take any other visits. Um, this school is just, it just feels like family, you know, and it, and it always has, even from the beginning. And I think it's the same with Kyle. You know, when, when he first got here, you know, we welcomed him with open arms. You know, he was a young, young kid from Philly, so, you know, he had his, his ways, you know. I'm, I'm from the Bronx, so I had my ways, but it was good, man, because he had this competitive fire about him so it kind of like put all that other stuff to the side you know and uh, he was like a brother like a real blood brother to me and everybody else on the team in a 
this summer he was around all the time since I've been in college. Um, Coach Wright, you know, praises him a lot and talks about the time he was here and um, just how tough he was. So kind of, you know, try to bring that energy towards us. And um, but now he's been, he's been, definitely been around since I was there. And to be at a program like Villanova, and when it started, it was on the cusp. And now when he goes back there, it's one of the elite programs in the country. A lot of that is due to him, not only what he did when he was there, but the fact that he continues to go back there and help the guys. He was one of the first guys to go in the NBA and really make it big. Now there's a flood of guys who go back, and he's there every summer working out with those kids 6 a.m., showing them what it means to be a pro, and that helps them as an amateur. And that's why I think his number being honored at Villanova makes sense because he literally is part of that team. When they won a national championship, he was on the sidelines. He was in the locker room with those guys. He's texting them back and forth throughout the year. It's over. That's what we do. And Jay Wright, who he looks to as a mentor still, is texting him throughout his NBA career. So to see it all come full circle as a guy who proudly represents the program makes sense. Villanova's had so many great players, such a great tradition, and he's been so good to that school too. I'm just thrilled that they're honoring him. I'm thrilled that he's part of the, you remember Kyle's part like me, he's part of that old Big East. Uh, that was a great time in, in basketball and the NCAA history, and, and Kyle's impact uh, is forever gonna be felt with that school. I don't know how much he knew about Villanova history, but it was a guy named Kerry Kittles, right, who was the greatest player that I've played with at Villanova, and, and I still believe he's still that guy there, but it was people before Kyle that are notable, great players, and for him to be right there and mention that he's probably the one of the best that play there, I think, I know it means a lot to him because he has that chip on his shoulder, he has that, that bone in his body that he want to compete, and when he, he want to be named and labeled with the greats. Uh, he's right at the top uh, in terms of, number one, what he's accomplished after college. Uh, and then when you look at the all-time greats at Villanova, I mean, obviously he wasn't on a, a, a national championship team. Uh, but I think if you ask anybody from their program, I think they would say he's one of the great competitors and one of the great players who ever played at Villanova, and rightfully so, having his number retired. That's going to be a really neat thing for him and his family. Uh, and I joked with him. I said, you're actually getting your number retired and you're still alive, you know? So you you know, you and your family, you can all enjoy it together. You're a young guy. And you'll be able to go back there for years and years and years and say, I know who that guy is. I know what that number is. That's me. So uh, I think it's just a great, great thing. And he's been so generous and kind and supportive to uh, Villanova. And I think uh, the feeling's mutual in terms of their love for him. me I think the bigger thrill has got to be having your two sons there and your mom and your wife and your entire family and all your friends and your teammates and your former coaches and um, it's kind of like that surreal this is your life moment I would imagine again I can't I can't speak from experience but I'm sure it'll be a really emotional night for him uh, but again, it's, it's so cool that it's happening while he's still an active player and a young man. And for his boys, uh, I think they'll remember that night the rest of their lives, which is a really, really neat experience. As much as they'll remember their dad winning an NBA title, I think they'll remember that night at Villanova just as much. I want to thank you guys all for being here, my family, my friends, my former teammates. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I really appreciate it. The Nova Nation, you guys have been great to me. I was only here a short amount of time, but this is home. Best university in the history of universities ever. In two years, it took this long to get all this stuff.
to have your number retired at Villanova, now full disclosure here, being older than a lot of the people around, I go back to the Villanova days of Roly Massimino, Ed Pinckney, uh, Gary McLean, Dwayne McLean. Like I go back to those guys, John Pannone. Like they've got a great tradition of basketball. One, it's Villanova, two, it's Philadelphia. And they have a great tradition of basketball. And for Kyle to be recognized in that pantheon, in that group of terrific Philadelphia basketball players says something. I mean, it's what he's, not only what he's given to uh, the NBA, but it's what he's given to that program and given back to that program and the role model he's become for a lot of those kids coming out of Philadelphia and in that Villanova program. I see you. Uh, TV would like you? you to be Hang here. Yeah. Just easier to go right out Nova. here. Whatever, yeah. NBA. Olympics. Olympics. I mean, it's. I mean, that's great. I mean, Arch, Archie Diakno just had his. I think with Alan Ray as well. But it's it's really cool. And now Kyle gets his. It just shows all the hard work you did at the school and um, continue to what you do. You know, when you leave. Hey, I just put it up. They made that for you. There's something over here for both of you. Look, come here. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> it's a huge honor. It's a huge honor to have a number retired or go into a Hall of Fame. It says something. It says something about your accomplishments. It's important to celebrate that success. And it also talks about the process that you had to go through to get that success as well. Hey, listen, the, the amount of times that Kyle brings up Villanova and the amount of pride that that man has in the program, this is huge. It's huge for him because that, like, that school made him. That school made him the type of player he is. They, they challenged him a lot. Like him and Jay Wright, remember, I've heard those stories and he's talked about it a lot. They butted heads early on. And I mean, that made him the hard ass player that he is today like he does not back down and Villanova I mean I, I've seen some uh, I've seen some interviews between Villanova guys and them going at each other and it's always like we're just going to be tougher than everybody else and I mean, so yeah I think it's a big honor and I think it, 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 it's, it should be important here too because you know Kyle Lowry is important here and if he's getting the honor it's important yeah I mean I'm going to go say I'll have a great day that's only what I'll see you guys when I'll see you guys right no, I think it's great because we all got our jerseys retired now and we all play together and we're all going to be um, around each other as far as like our jerseys and stuff like that. So I think that's just, I think that's just great, man. It's like our family, you know, it's just like a family feeling. It means everything. When, you, when you're somebody like Kyle that had to earn everything that you got and everything that you get till today. It means a lot, and when you get rewarded for that, you know, and it's special because he can still go out and play, right? He's not the older guy that, you know, somebody bring back where people just really don't really remember him, but they're just honoring him. He, he's, he's a thumbprint. He's a staple in that city. He's a staple at that university. He gives back to the university. He's still doing very well at the highest level. He's notable. He has his foundations. He does a lot, so I know he doesn't do those things to get that accolade, but it's, it's always good to see, and I know it means a lot to him. Well, it's it's amazing to have your number retired when, if you know basketball and you look at that school and the number of great names that played there, the championships and the whole bit, when people say to you, hey, you're one of the best that's ever been here, we're going to retire your number, That that's that's like, hey, that's amazing. What's up, man? This is Kyle. How are you? Yes. So if you mind if we get a cool Yeah, that's good. Thank you so much, Kyle.